Hey guys, so as many of you might know that OnePlus is going to roll out an update for the CM12.1 for all the OnePlus ones out there. So uh, it's still going to take a while and uh, if you want to be ahead of them and get the OTA on your device first, then just follow this video. Because in this video, I'm going to tell you on how you can get your hands on the official CM12.1 for the OnePlus One. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. So first of all, you have to download the official OTA file which is given down in the description right below the like button. So go ahead, like this video, open the description and download the file that I've asked you to and then place it in your phone's internal storage. Do note that this process can also be performed by the ones who are not rooted. So that's a very good thing. And uh, so what you need to do next is that uh, you need to boot into your recovery and for that simply hold your power button go to power off and select recovery then hit ok now with this uh, the rooted ones you will be booted up into the recovery that you already have and for the ones who are not rooted they might enter something known as cyanogen recovery and uh, if these options did not come on your screen then simply so then just simply power off your oneplus hold the power button and the volume down button and then you're good to go so once uh, now for the ones who are not rooted and are on cyanogen recovery uh, simply go to apply update select the file that I asked you to download and boom you're done you'll simply be booted up into this official CM12.1 and now for the ones who are rooted uh, if you are coming from the CM12S the official CM12 for oneplus one you just simply hit install uh, go and find the update file that I asked you guys to download and then simply swipe to confirm flash and if you are coming from any other ROM, even it being CM12.1 nightly for the OnePlus One, you still need to go ahead and wipe, go to advanced wipe, then select everything except for internal storage and then swipe to confirm flash. Now since I have already applied the update, I won't really apply it once again, so I'll just simply reboot into the system. And now I'll give you my views on the CM12.1 for the OnePlus One. So right after you boot into the CM12.1, uh, the very first thing that you guys are going to notice is that the animations are smoother than ever. Uh, now uh, these are actually way smoother than the ones we had on CM12 and these don't lag anywhere at all. Actually the usage of the phone can be even faster this time because the animations have really improved over the last update. The second most thing that you are most likely to notice is that the uh, icons have changed. A few icons have changed in fact. For example, the camera icon over here that has changed. And then uh, the audio effects icon has changed. There's nothing ch uh, changed inside the app as such. But uh, only the appearance of the icon has changed. Then uh, they've added a custom browser. So that's an additional upgrade over there. Then the file manager uh, has got its icon changed as well and uh, then we have the galleries icon changed as well yeah nothing much over there it's just minor changes in the icon um, of these applications the next thing that makes android 5.1 the android 5.1 is that uh, in the quick settings in wi-fi and bluetooth we have these small arrows that take us to the available networks without going into the settings app itself so uh, that's the typical point CM 12.1 or I should say Android 5.1.1 feature. So that is that actually comes very handy and similarly we have the one for Bluetooth as well. As soon as we touch that arrow, the Bluetooth gets turned on and the paired devices come right here on the screen. So I'll just close that. So you can see that the animation also comes up how it uh, closes with the circle and starts with the circle. We'll have a look at it again like that. So that feels pretty neat, pretty unique. Yeah, uh, they've also upgraded the dialer and this time the dialer is the one which is uh, partnered with Truecaller. So there's no need for you to download a third party app for Truecaller. So uh, whenever, you're, whenever you are receiving a call from someone or, or a number that you don't know, this phone will tell you where the call is coming from and who is the owner of that number very easily just like the one you have on uh, the true callers app so yeah that's a very nice thing nothing much over here they just added a few more settings inside that app i won't go very deep over there now comes the major part 
has cm 12.1 really fixed the heating and the battery drainage issue that was introduced by cm 12 well sadly the answer remains no because i uh, i did you know try gaming and pushing the phone to its level when i used to work with it on cm 11 but uh, it somehow didn't manage to reach that level i did i would not uh, say that the battery is not improved at all i would say that the battery has improved but not very much i mean uh, on cm 12 i used to have one percent battery drain at every four minutes uh, with usage now on cm 12 i have one percent battery drain on every five to six minutes and that keeps varying and on top of that the heating issue has not been solved yet it's so it heats lesser as compared to the last time but it does heat and the heating is heating literally heating it doesn't get warm it does get hot and uh, one can't literally hold the phone in their hand and to be precise the heating starts over here on the right corner where it was earlier as well it still requires a few more updates a few more ota stability updates for the phone to run as smooth as it really should yeah that's what all this video majorly covers guys i hope you enjoyed this video i hope it was informative as it will really help me grow thanks for watching guys see you guys in the next one